Well, look what we've got here. I'll find out the year in just a bit. It's a rally. Have you guys ever heard of rally? I, <clears throat> I have not seen rally here in Canada. I think it was bought down east though. Because I think there's a bit of a, there's a few French markings on it. Yes. Le sac do it entre and star keep the port for me quand the grass so it's got something about closing the door to the grass box when closing this door when the grass bag's gone. <laughs> so it's got some French on it. So it looks like it came from down east. See there again. But it's been around. Look at those tires. It's a front wheel drive. So the first thing I'm going to do is see if I've got replacements for this front for these front tires. You never ever know until you have a look. So let's just put you right there. And I'm just going to pump this up a little bit more. <coughs> And we'll take this car, this clip out of here. Good. That's nice. Okay, it's got the. It's got. This must be a Murray make, eh? It's got kind of a Murray gear-looking thing on there. Very good condition. I'm just going to just go check my hoard, see what I got. Alright, this is the tire that came off of here. This is not a geared tire, but the tread is the same size. So if, if I got my muscles going, I could move this tread to this tire. I mean, I know you could, I could order tires, I could do all that stuff, but by the time you're done, I get $110 for this old 25-year-old, okay, whatever it is, 25-year-old lawnmower. Let's just, let's just get a date on it here. Just hang on, please. There. <clears throat> Back to normal. Now let's find a date. Product number. It says 0419. Ah. 94. April 19th, 1994. Woo! She's 29 years old, guys. Wow. Well, that's kind of interesting. I, did, I just checked the gas. It's, the gas is going to burn. So I'm just going to take the... I'm going to do a dark and dirty on the carburetor. I haven't even tried to start it, actually. So here's the uh, air filter. It's it's okay. Oh, it just broke. I have these. Let's get you guys up where you can see. Well, it looks okay. It's starting to look like a Murray to me. So you lawnmower gurus. Is a rally made by Murray. Starting to get the feel of it. So I'm just going to play right now. Get you guys back up there. Lower your head down a little bit so you can see. Can you see the mower there? Please forgive me. Okay. So we got squirts. We're going to pour a little juice down this carburetor. Tilt it back. Like that. So it goes into the intake manifold. And I got my coat on, so I gotta be careful. Prime her up a little bit. And let's just see if she fires.
cool, huh? I think when I tilted it, it ran out of gas. Well, I'll be jiggered. Let's look at the plug. Oh, by the way, the oil, I checked it, the oil is on the ad. Which is enough for now. It's going to be just changed out anyway, right? Oh, and one other thing about this lawnmower is that the plug, the spark plug, faces the operator, right? And quite a few old old lawnmowers did this. I've got a I've got a Briggs and Stratton that actually faces sideways, where the plug is facing to the right. So let's just clean the spark plug up. It's hot and it's ugly. So I'm just gonna. I am just going to clean the spark plug and we'll come back. All right, look at that. NGKCS1. I think that's probably a Brazilian car, Brazilian NGK. Let me get my binoculars. Made in Brazil. Well, that's cool, but it's a heavy plug, so I'm going to use it, and it already worked, right? Oh, see? There we go. Standing in front of you again. Okay, so that's nice. I think I'm going to take the bowl off. And we're going to just do a do the dark and dirty on the carburetor just to see what happens. So 1994. <laughs> Is that going to be a half an inch or a 760? Excuse me, moi. S'il vous plaît. No, it's going to be a 716. Good. It's leaking already. Hey, my stat! Stat! Mrs. P watches those emergency shows on TV. Eh? There. So it's a 716. This one's an holy. All right, nothing like a machine that's been maintained, eh? Look at that. Are you guys on? Yes, you are. Well, that's pretty freaking cool. I need a wash bowl. Pardon me. I'm going to just pour this into some fuel here, and I'll come right back. What I'm doing right now is I'm just going to clean that bowl, clean that bowl up. And uh, spray a little fuel up into the carburetor. I might change this uh, seal. But if I'm careful, I won't wreck anything, right? So see you in a bit. Woo! See you in a bit. All right, now I'm just going to dump the old gas out of this carburetor. Ca gas tank, excuse me. And we're going to replace We'll swish it around. Right? There isn't much in there. Push it around and we'll just pour it out if we can. Oh. <laughs> yes, I spilled some fuel. Not much crap in there though. Okay, there we go. Good. Now I can let the rest of that drain out. Get a rag. Some gas on it. And do 
just wipe this rubber ring down. I'm very tempted to give it a I'm very tempted to give it a wash with the pressure washer. Okay, so there we go, right there, 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 and there. That's amazing. So now we're going to change the fuel out. We've got a clean spark plug. We've got a, uh, a million dollar bolt. 716, so we're going to go this way. Fill my little bucket up here, so I'm gonna just put you guys on hold for a minute. All right, we just got a little bit of gas down in the well here. Not bad. I'm gonna just try and pump it a few times. I'm hearing something, and we'll just try and start it. Let's get a. What do you call? Clamp. You guys can see what we're doing. Not a quiet mower, but it's all here. Mrs. P would love it, except it weighs two tons. I want to find out where the battery is. Right there. Yeah, sure. I'm going to say, yeah, the battery is, I believe, right there in that compartment right there. So we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to this stick. This is the grass flap holder upper stick. We're going to take that door off of there. Let's just shoot it with some air. and we'll turn you guys off. All right, let's just see what's inside here. I know there's a battery because it clicks when I hit the electric start. I hope it has the same terminals as one I have as my, sp <laughs> as my spare. Well, why won't it come out? Because of this. Oh, I see. This unplugs. Yay! Alrighty then. Like there's your 12 volts, eh? Let's just put a little air to this and get some crud out of there. We might be able to change the battery right now. I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. I was going to power wash this thing. I'm just going to see what I got here for a battery. I'll be right back, guys. All right. I've got a battery jerry-rigged over here because it's too big for the compartment. But I just want to see if this thing starts on 12 volts. i got all my connectors out. Squeeze the bit. Oh, prime it up a little bit. 
squeeze the bail, and now it should turn over with the starter. So I think it'll be worthwhile getting a battery the right physical size. Uh, this is the one that came out. This is a 5 amp hour and this one is a 3 amp hour. They're similar, but this one's just a little bit fatter and it won't fit in. But that's fine. We can do that. We have the technology for that. So the electric start works. I'll let you go for a bit. So guys, there's no plug-in for this battery. So what I think it does is this is the lead from the coil or the stator. There might be a stator in here. And it goes, it's connected together with the battery lead right there. And it goes into the battery compartment to charge the battery. And it comes out orange and light orange. The light orange goes up to the switch and brings the 12 volts back down. And the heavy orange goes into this, this little uh, relay here. That's pretty freaking smart. I'm going to start it up and carefully measure the voltage right there. We'll see. So this thing either has a stator under the hood or uses the voltage from just the voltage kicked off from the uh, coil to uh, charge the battery. Now I've disconnected the dipstick, the uh, tank, the two bolts at the front. This should lift right off except for our air cleaner. It should. Good. Okay, I've never seen this before, you guys. It has its own little stator. Just a little tiny guy. Right there. Bolted onto the coil. And it generates a little electricity. And between the stator and this little diode matrix here, it puts out 12 volts out that red lead to the battery. That is so freaking cool. I'm going to just take a few pictures of that. So I've had a chance to wipe under the hood of this one so I don't have to squirt water up in there and uh, potentially destroy that little tiny stator in there. I don't know what kind of current it generates, but it generates 16 volts. So when a battery is connected to it, there's probably a little voltage regulator in here too, eh? Right there. So, uh, yeah. Um, I'm pretty impressed. And I, it was nice to get it all cleaned out underneath the hood. So I'm going to just start it up again, make sure it runs. And then, uh, I don't know what the heck we're going to do next here. Yes, you guys guessed it. I'm doing another tire swap. This is the tread on that old rally front wheel drive. And I'm just taking the tread off of this one. Look at that. But well, I gotta get it on the other one without wrecking it, right? It's 
gonna go, baby. I'm gonna have to be a little more careful on the on the one that's getting replaced, eh? back out just for practice. There we go. That wasn't bad at all. Now which side was the uh, inside? Should have some grippy doohickey marks in. It's equilibriumly de dexterously set. It's kind of cool. Do you think that's going to be the same size? Let's find out. I'm going to heat this one a little bit more. more plastic here too. Okay. Look, I'm just leaving that on cool. Case in that way. So it won't burn anything. Let's just have a little exploratory surgery here. It's gonna come. I don't need to dig down that deep though. Let's just try it from the other way, because I'm starting to dent the uh, gear holder on her. Because it gets hot too, right? Yeah, let's just try it from the front. can't quite use, I don't have one of these uh, replacements, huh? obviously. We started, where did we start? Ooh, it's bounced back, that's nice. Right here I started. There we go. It's just getting it through there. Oh, it's just a half. It's like there. Put a screwdriver in there. And then the, another pry bar. Coming, baby. Come on, we're there. Boy, just gotta get funky with it, right? It's hot. I touched it with my wrist. There we go. Let's just keep... <laughs> well, we know what the answer is there now. There's no going back.
repair this edge. Now we got to heat this up a little bit more. <coughs> what was the inside and what was the outside of this one? Doesn't really matter. Yeah, let's get her heated up. Gonna get it nice and hot. On the inside and the outside. It's gonna hold its heat for a while. It's starting to smoke. Now I'm gonna turn that off onto cool. These have a this uh, blower has a cool function when you're not using it. Okay, I wanna go, I wanna put it on this way. Just to see. Hmm. You might have to, might have to go back to here. Good. Yeah, we're almost grabbing all the way around that. Not hard, not good for the elbows. Oh, I'm so close. If I get the if I get this lip just on the inside all the way around. There. Now if I can get that out, watch this. I'd have to heat it up one more time. Maybe not. I don't want to. Okay, look at the tire there. It's going to have to go like that. Yep. Okay. Okay, let's turn this off. Now we're gonna just take a take a punch. Might as well use the right the right tools for the right job. Eh? Take a punch and flatten these carved areas out if I can. No, as long as I put it on the right side, on the right tire. I'll go try it on the on the lawnmower. All right, my friends. Just a word of thought. Uh, this air filter has a tab air filter on the side. Right? And there's always a discussion as to whether it goes this way or this way. But down on the bottom here, there's a vent to the PCV crankcase ventilation. So that's where that gets sucked from. And that's why that, this is cleaned, but that's why that one's always stained. And I'm replacing it. This is why I need to constantly rejuvenate my spares. Because this is what came out. It is uh, like uh, that? No? Yep, probably is. Right there. It was attached at the top eh, and it broke. But we'll clean that and we'll put it back in the spares because it doesn't matter if that touches that. Now let's get the lid. My gosh, we're getting close to changing the oil and sharpening the blade. Alright, I'm going to see if that all uh, I put the battery back in. That's been done charge for two days. Let's just see if it has enough oompers to get her going. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. <laughs> All I gotta do is change the oil and sharpen the blade. 
Those are, look at those beautiful front tires with tread on them. Isn't that something? Thanks. All right, I'm going to start this old mower up for the last time. Three pumps. One, two, three. Just like the book says. It's done. I did notice that the uh, wheels creep when it's uh, in the air, the front wheels, but it's just a pulley. There's not even a transmission there. It's just a pulley on a shaft. So thanks for watching this one with me, guys.